Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Barbie's Baby Problems. So, in the last episode, we had our babes. We've got little Flora and Rose over there, and we did also find out that Ken is the father. I feel like today, um, we're going to be focused more on Barbie, because I feel like she probably isn't going to want to spend too much time with the kiddies, you know. And I kind of realised Barbie doesn't really have much of a social media presence. So today, I am going to focus more on uh, her social media, trying to build up a bit of a following. I feel like that's the kind of thing she would like to do. So I think to start, let's, uh, let's take a photo to post to our timeline. Mm. There we go, maybe we can get one of the babies. Can't get one of both of them together. Take one like that, yep. And one like that. Perfect. Ken, the baby's crying. The baby's crying, you better take care of that. That's right, in you go, Ken, in you go. Take care of that baby. I don't know if we even have a social media profile yet, you know? Add to Instagram story. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Yes, yeah, important that we're posting to Instagram. I feel like maybe we should take a little trip. We should go see the girls and um, get some snaps of them, you know? Just really want to focus on Barbie's online presence. So perhaps we'll come and see Christy and Midge. Okay, here we are, the girls' house. It's still snowing and it's day two of spring. I can't remember how long it takes to clear up. Hey there, Midge. How's it going? You're looking good. I feel bad for Midge, you know. She's never really... She hasn't found love yet, but God has she tried. In so many episodes, she's just off her own back. She's tried it on with so many people. Like the pool person. And even Teresa. She's had a go with Teresa as well. It's just never worked out, really. Oh, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. Almost looks like there's uh, tears in your eyes there, Midge. But it's okay, I know why. You're just lonely. Alright, well let's uh, let's post that to Simstagram. In fact, I'm pretty sure the pictures are in her inventory, aren't they? She's got 16 photos. Did I miss something? I can't remember what else we took photos of. Oh, right, from when she was doing the um, the decorating career. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Well, you know what? We're just going to sell them all to a publication. She's got a lot of certificates in her inventory. She's got two birth certificates, and she's got a paternity test certificate. Give that to Ken, maybe. He can hang it up on his, uh, on his wall. So he can be proud that his unfaithful girlfriend did actually get impregnated by him. Okay, yeah, these are the pictures of Midge. We'll just go ahead and sell them. I think we are gaining fame for every single one that we're posting, so every little helps. Barbie loves a bit of fame, doesn't she? So we've sold 16 pictures. That actually made any dent, really, in our fame. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Let's add to our Instagram story again. And then I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll go, I'll send her home to go to bed and then tomorrow perhaps we'll go for lunch with Teresa and we'll order a salad and we'll just post a picture of our salad. Oh, we've gained 12 followers, so we've got 24 followers in total. I might just update her Simstagram story a couple of times. Where's Christy anyway? Where the fuck is she? She hasn't even come, round, come out to say hello. I don't think she's home. No, she's not home. Well, we have 72 followers. That's better than nothing. So, on that note, I think let's, um, let's go home, get some sleep, and then we're going to go for brunch with Teresa tomorrow. A boozy brunch. Yeah, we have some bottomless Prosecco. It's going to be fucking brilliant. Oh, Christy, hi. I was just at your house. Funny you should uh, turn up here. You better not be planning on just walking straight past me. She fucking was. She was just going to walk straight past me. What kind of friend are you? So if you see me in the supermarket, you're just going to pretend you didn't see me. You fucking bitch. What the fuck is going on? What's that side eye all about? Oh, okay. Okay, she's... 
changed her tone a little bit. I think she's just a little bit jealous, you know, because we got we got kids and she doesn't. I get it. I get it. Good story, Barbie. Good story. Well, I think let's try and get some sleep. And then tomorrow we're going to go for brunch. Ken, keep an eye on the babies, will you? Oh, something's going wrong with that bed. I might just take the uh, over top cover off. There we go. That'll do. Okay, Barbie, don't you worry about a thing. You just focus on getting your beauty sleep and looking beautiful for your Instagram day tomorrow. Ken, just keep an eye on the babes. How are they doing? They look like they're fine. Oh, Ken's been doing a good job. Well done. Well done, Kenny boy. Yeah, you're a good mum, Barbs. You're a good mum. She is, actually. I think she's doing the best thing by giving the babies some space. She doesn't want to be a bad influence. So she's just not going to be an influence at all. And I think, you know, that can't be a bad thing. Okay, so it's almost 11 o'clock. So it's almost brunch time. So what I might do is... Might go for brunch with Teresa now. Just spend some quality friend time, you know? Ask her how she's getting on with Cole. I mean, not in a pry way, but, you know, just in a friendly, friend way. Oh, yeah, you are brunch ready. Where should we sit? Should we sit on the rooftop? Let's sit on the rooftop. That's it. We'll just have a little sit together. We'll order some salads. It's going to be great. So I think let's, um, let's order for the table. Don't worry, Therese, we, we'll get you something. So I think we definitely need some booze. So we'll go with Sour Punch for both of us. And should we go Caesar salad? We'll go for a Caesar salad. And then you know what? We could just be a little bit naughty and have a little bit of chocolate cake afterwards and undo all of the, all of the work we put in with the salad. So, Teresa, how's it going? You gonna look at me, or you just gonna? You talking to someone across the way in the gym or something? So, Teresa, level with me about Cole. How happy are you really? Like happy, happy, or just kind of happy, or telling yourself you're happy when you're not? Because I really think you could do so much better than Cole. I mean, I know you've got two kids with him, but that really doesn't mean anything. I'm getting pretty sick of Teresa having a conversation with this woman. She's pissing me off. Hey, Teresa. You're here with me. Oh, what, now that your little buddy's gone, now you're happy to have a conversation with me, huh? Is that how it is? Is that how we are? Cassandra Goth's gone for a, a new look, isn't she? Oh, that's not Cassandra Goth. I just saw the hairstyle and, uh, and assumed... Oh, they've brought in the cake first before we've even had our salad. I'm a bit annoyed about this book being in the way. I might just get rid of it. Wait, wait, before you eat it. Before you eat it, take a photo. Oh, she's just... Oh, for God's sake, now you're just going to end up taking a photo of an empty plate. <laughs> well, I mean, we could take a picture of that. <laughs> just put hashtag diet. <laughs> This is my lunch for today. Hashtag diet. Hashtag keto. Hashtag blessed. What kind of arse about elbow place is this anyway? They give us our cake before we've even had salad or a drink. They're such a glamorous pair, aren't they, these two? Such brunch goals. I bet Teresa's probably a more attentive mother than Barbie is. Actually, do you know what I'm thinking? I reckon I was going to do maybe those two having like a little toddler date, like a little toddler play date in the next episode. And I might do that, but I'm also thinking, seeing as Skipper is a young adult now, I'm kind of tempted to do the next episode being about Skipper moving out and just have that episode just about Skipper and then we'll pick up where we left off with uh, Barbie. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Every time she's around Teresa, she always gets this angry mood buff because Barbie's evil and Teresa's good. So <laughs> she always gets like that kind of angry tension around Teresa because she's like, oh, this person is so good. Why can't she just be evil? Are we going to get the rest of our food or is this just... Is this just over now? Are we just not going to get the salad or, or the drinks? Well, then, in that case, I'm just going to end the meal and, and pay the bill. Although, to be honest, I don't know why I always pay. 
Why are you talking to that kid? She should be at school. Okay, well that was fun. And uh, on that note, I think I'm just going to end this episode here. I think this has been a pretty chill episode. Um, just Barbie getting to grips with parenthood. As you can tell, she's quite hands-on. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.